Facebook, YouTube, the day of uh, Raphael, Raphael, <laughs> the archangel, God is our prayer. No, not tear. He's a false God. Quick, acknowledging false gods. All right, topic of the message. Um, Today is January 26th. It's interesting. January 26th. Inter Genesis 1, 26. We're made in the image and the likeness of God. Hope you caught that right there. But topic of the message is quite interesting. Um, uh, the scripture says in Matthew 16 and 18 that what P Jesus told Peter, he called Peter the rock, but he said, and, and, and the, that, 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 you know, I will build my church. Now watch this. He didn't say Peter upon this rock, I'm going to build Peter's church, but he said upon this rock, I will build my church, Jesus' church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, I want people to understand this idea that I've been preaching, you know, majority of my videos has been expressing, that, that we're not operating in the true church. What you see right now is not the true church. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a church is operating in division, tradition, and religion, you know, embracing the ideals of a system called denomination that is more likely dividing the church than not uniting the church, as Jesus says, if any kingdom divided against itself shall be brought to desolation. I mean, and the and the true power and effectiveness of God is not being operated. Here's the thing that always drives me crazy that I watch, you know, and look at y'all sinners and Christians but mainly Christians in this idea since, you know, here's the idea, you know, and I go to Starbucks and I hear, and I'm near a hospital called Manatee Memorial Hospital. And uh, all of a sudden the sirens come out, you know, sirens come out. I hear sirens coming, sirens. Now, the thing is, uh, if you like these lukewarm Christians, you will think, oh, somebody called on somebody that need help. In an emergency situation, they're going to go uh, help that person. But a kingdom citizen was one, is wondering, wait a minute, why nobody's not calling upon the name of the Lord and heaven help the situation? Ah, uh, that's what a, king, a true kingdom citizen will ask that question. See, here's the thing. Y'all don't understand what Paul and Jesus has been saying all in the scriptures. Paul clearly says, that men will not endure sound doctrine. You know what I'm saying? And and Jesus, of course, give the letters of the church and show that they the church will lose their first love. They shall be uh, apostles, will shall be liars. Um, all kind of bad stuff gonna happen to the church, pretty much that he prophesied. Um, and and to, so it's so on and so on scriptures in the Bible that tells how the church is not going to fulfill the purpose. That is supposed to fulfill, but the thing is, this church system is not is not prevailing against the gates of hell, as you're supposed to see when you got an idea of a show called Lucifer is on television. You know what I'm saying? And you know, same sex marriage is being passed in Washington, and all of this. You know, you look at television and all this negativity on there, and. You, they're not prevailing. They're not prevailing against the darkness. That's supposed to be the, the, the supposed to tell you that this church system is not prevailing against the gates of hell. It's not. And now I'm going to talk about the gates of hell. Of what Jesus is talking about that people are. I don't know if people are telling you about the gates of hell, but the gates of hell that I did a message about Janice. Janice has in January, uh, the false God that y'all acknowledge on January, um, he is in charge of the gate. You know, he's in charge of the gateway. Uh, and in this gateway, that as much of darkness uh, gets permission concerning about the pagan holidays that, you know, y'all involve yourself in, that 
what happens is darkness, death, Satan will send his demons up to heaven to petition for more power from God because of the actions of our disobedience that he can petition that he can have get more you know evil 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 spirits in in earth to do more damage that's been going on for a long time and a long time and a long time that I keep telling and the thing is and it's these gate it's gates you know what I'm saying these are gates that are open that only Satan can only ask get permission from God based upon our actions as human beings because of what you got to understand that Satan means our adversary it means man's adversary not God's adversary say God already defeats Satan Satan is our adversary see what I'm saying and the thing is Satan is now deceiving men to take in the power of the of, of the, really the keys of the kingdom you know what I'm saying? That you keep reading in this chapter. It says, and the and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, what you don't, like I did a teaching on, what you don't understand when you desire the things of the earth, what happens is that Satan's all about wanting you to desire the things of the earth. You're binding the king, you're binding the earth. Because you desire the earth, you bind heaven. You bind heaven's uh, power to really do great things. Like the great things of, you know, when a bad emergency happens, you call upon heaven to help the situation. You know what I'm saying? You don't call 911 if you're a true kingdom citizen. But the thing is, the system of this world system that is going on concerning the so-called church um, it has neutralized people the mindset of the true kingdom of God and how it's supposed to work. And, it, and the angels are supposed to be the, the, the ideal performance of the true kingdom of God. Supposed to be ran by the angels, not supposed to be ran by men. It's supposed to be ran by the angels. And the angels are supposed to bring the true provision that I did constant message on this ideal reality. But this church system has, you know, religionized or what Jesus is talking about uh, in Matthews 23 and 13, they have bought, shut up the kingdom of God. They have shut up the kingdom of God that angels cannot participate in certain things because of their disobedience concerning this religious system, as in the Pharisees and Sadducees was religion, and they shut off the kingdom of God. It's still going on right now. A religious system is the face of, Catholic Church is the face of Christianity and is binding the kingdom of God to come heaven to come down and do what heaven was supposed to do to make this world a better place that you're not understanding these gates. And the thing is, these gates are the keys of us having victory or defeat. And right now, the church is not operating in victory It's defeat and all this stuff that's going on around you. It's supposed to testify of the church is not operating in the way it's supposed to be operating. I mean, I hope Acts 2.42 can tell you that the church is not operating the way it's supposed to act. You know, no fellowship, no you and uh, Ephesians 4 supposed to tell you that the church is not being what it is. No spirit of faith. I mean, no unity of the faith, no unity of the spirit is not going on in all Christians. All Christians around the world, not building, not natural building, but all Christians around the world is considered as the body of Christ. You know, saying that this church system has deceived or Satan used this system to deceive y'all to not to and to get the keys of the kingdom to let more darkness in the earth than more light in the earth. And that's what you get all these sagas and news channels of all kind of bad, crazy stuff happening that been facilitated by the kingdom of darkness. That's why Paul says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. This is the scenario. But the topic of this message is, you know, I want to teach you to understand the reality of understands the gates of hell and the gates of heaven. It's, this, it's these two gates is these two gates? Well, the gates of heaven really is whatsoever you loose on earth. We start loosing the desires of the earth, and heaven start you know can participate in our activities. 
is what's supposed to be the correct standard of how we're going to defeat darkness. But no loosening is going on because the church is teaching y'all to love the things that are earth. And love the things that are earth is blessings. You know what I'm saying? And it's just a crazy situation that we're supposed to walk by faith and the just shall live by faith. And faith is supposed to be the key of bringing the true rest, the ration to the world. If you read Ephesians 4, the true rest that Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that have elated, and I will give you rest. And this rest is what Jesus is trying to give us concerning Matthew, I mean, uh, Hebrews 4. And the thing is, but the thing is, we got to get the gate open. We got to get the right gate open, not the wrong gate. But the wrong gate is being open as much as y'all being conformed to this world. And Satan is the God of this world, blinding your minds to spiritual blinding you of this ideal I'm revealing to you. You know what I'm saying? We got to lose this earth and lose the desires of this earth and start loving the things of heaven. And heaven can participate in us establishing his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven that jesus made a prophecy that is going to happen really you know that the gates of hell should not prevail against the church but guess what the gates of hell is not going to prevail against the church even though as you as you can see i hope you watching as well as praying that what the activity that's going on in the white white house and what's going on around the world is getting ready for you know satan's getting ready for his plan to be Attack, but the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. And the thing is, just what I'm telling you is to just start doing what needs to be done. Fellowship is supposed to be the uh, 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 what you need to be focused on doing. Uniting with Christians, uniting with more believers, and finding times of fellowship, whether you're at your school, whether you're at your job. Finding times to fellowship and share the word of God and where you're at is what should be ready if you want to attack the gates of hell. If you want to attack the gates of hell, right now fellowship is it should be the agenda right now. And I, if you, I believe if you do that, everything will start to fall into place if you really about being a part of the children of the light according to 1 Thessalonians 5. You know what I'm saying? The children of the light. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand the gates of heaven, the gates of hell. That's the message. To God be the glory here forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.